Good morning, guys. Today I want to give you a little bit of a preview of some Superflux 5 inch motor testing. And I just will basically show a raw video of uh, two boards being ridden side by side one with an HT and one with an HS variant of the new 5 inch Superflux. And uh, yeah, so this is the HS right here on this board. But um, on the test, I was riding the HT. Now, they both look identical, so there's no markers on it to distinguish it. But um, yeah, so we want to test a 32S board running the HS motor versus an 18S board running the HT motor. Enjoy. All right, we're doing a side-by-side -side test of the two new five inch Superflux motors. HS and the HT version. Funginaires wants to only release one of them, so he, he wanted help picking which one would be the better all around motor if he only were to release one. Now, I'm still hoping that he will change his mind and that he will release both because, in my opinion, there is merit to both variants. The guys with the lower voltage builds like stock GT type of setups, they would prefer the HS. And for high voltage builds, it's obviously better to go with an HT motor because you don't need all that top speed. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So I've got Jaron here with me. He's the same weight as I am. We uh, stepped on the scale beforehand. I put a backpack on to add the extra five pounds. And uh, yeah, so should be a good side-by-side -side comparison. So we'll do the usual turn around at the bottom here and then start the climb. Go. Uh, where are we at? I'm at uh, 35, 36.5. Oh, I'm at 36.5 as well. Oh, well. So I've got the HT motor on an 18S board, and he's got the HS motor on a 32S build. What's your voltage right now? Looking at uh, 122.5. And I'm at 68.5. So almost like half of your voltage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and let's go. That wasn't part of the test plan. <laughs> We're actually both riding our extended rail boards that we normally have our Thundercat BTG motors in. Uh, I think we both ride the HS motor, but um, yeah, the five inch with the Pioneer actually su feels surprisingly nice. And I know that TFL is working on a a five inch BTG tire. I've seen prototypes of it, but I don't think it's out yet. I don't know what the timeline is on that. So that'll be really interesting. 
Yeah, let me screen record the uh, float control data here. So I'm at 44 Celsius. All right. Now, naturally, one would expect the HS motor to heat up a little quicker than the HT motor, simply because you need higher motor amps for the same torque. And that's also what we've seen with the six inch Superflux motors. But uh, so far, the difference doesn't seem to be too big. not a hot day it's probably 60 out right now so temperatures are fairly mellow the motor is not heating up super quickly what's nice about these side-by-side -side tests is that we're literally going the same speed at the same time with the same weather same wind same outside temperature so um, and we made sure that our weight is equal and I did check that both tires were on the p same PSI as well so it should be a perfect apples to apples comparison so mine is still climbing it's a 51 now I'm at 53 on mine 53 all right not a big difference which is nice still climbing though Fifty-two now. Fifty-four. All right. All right. It looks like that's probably going to be the peak. I'm guessing. But yeah, not too big of a difference. Yeah. So basically, what we saw is that the HT motor stays cooler than the HS motor and you guys could also tell from this test that the higher voltage of the um, 32S board with the HS motor did not give it an advantage in temperatures. The 18S HT still stayed cooler and we're going to also be testing the same thing but with equal voltages and we will try the same motor on high voltage and low voltage boards but yeah basically things are kind of as expected the HT motor runs cooler than the HS motor and voltage does not help with temperatures so thanks for watching So what else are we going to test? We are going to run the different motors side by side on different boards and we will always make sure that we have equal weights. And then one last thing I want to do is compare this board to a GTS XL. So we will borrow my friend's XL and also do side by side tests again with equal weight riders and see how that does so yep stay tuned 